often bombarded with messages that tell us we need to be famous, we need to be recognized, we need to be esteemed by others in order to be truly happy. But I want to propose a radical idea to you. What if true contentment actually lies in the opposite direction? What if true enlightenment doesn't come from external validation, but from humility and inner peace? We live in a society where social media has created this constant pressure to present a perfect image, to be liked and loved by thousands of strangers, and to accumulate as many followers as possible. We're led to believe that our worth is directly tied to our online popularity, and that if we're not getting the recognition we think we deserve, then we're somehow failing. But this relentless pursuit of fame and recognition comes at a steep cost. We sacrifice our true selves, our values, and our desires on the altar of public approval. We become so focused on what others think of us that we forget what truly makes us happy. And in the end, we're left feeling empty, unfulfilled, and lost. This pressure to seek fame is not only damaging to our mental health, but it also creates a culture of competition and comparison. We're constantly comparing ourselves to others, trying to one-up each other, and feeling inadequate when we don't measure up. We're so focused on being better than others that we forget to focus on being better versions of ourselves. And in this chaos, we lose sight of what truly matters. But what if I told you that there's a different way? A way that's not about seeking external validation, but about cultivating inner peace and humility. A way that's not about being famous, but about being true to oneself. That's the path I want to explore with you today. There's a beautiful Buddhist story that I want to share with you, a story that illustrates the power of humility and the pitfalls of seeking external validation. The story goes like this. There was once a young monk named Kulananda, who lived in a small village in ancient India. Kulananda was a brilliant scholar, and he was determined to become the most revered monk in the land. He spent every waking moment studying, meditating, and practicing his rituals, all in the hopes of gaining recognition and admiration from his peers. As Kulananda's fame grew, so did his ego. He became arrogant, prideful, and dismissive of others. He believed that he was superior to everyone else, and that he was the only one who truly understood the teachings of the Buddha. But one day, Kulananda's teacher, a wise old monk named Ajahn, called him out on his behavior. Ajahn told Kulananda that his pursuit of fame was a poison, a poison that was destroying his inner peace and his relationships with others. Kulananda was taken aback. He had never thought about the impact his actions were having on those around him. He realized that he had become so focused on seeking external validation that he had forgotten the true purpose of his spiritual practice. He was so caught up in trying to be recognized by others that he had lost sight of his own inner growth. And in that moment, Kulananda had a profound realization. His pursuit of fame was not bringing him happiness, but rather it was bringing him suffering. The key insight from this story is this. True enlightenment comes not from public acclaim, but from inner peace. It comes not from seeking external validation, but from cultivating humility and self-awareness. Kulananda's story teaches us that the more we focus on seeking fame and recognition, the more we lose sight of what truly matters. The more we focus on being true to ourselves, the more we find true happiness and fulfillment. In the end, Kulananda learned a valuable lesson. He learned that true greatness is not about being recognized by others, but about being true to oneself. He learned that true enlightenment is not about seeking external validation, but about cultivating inner peace and humility. And he learned that the only way to achieve true happiness is to let go of our ego and our desire for fame. So what can we learn from Kulananda's story? We can learn that true enlightenment comes from within, not from without. We can learn that humility is key to finding true happiness and fulfillment, and we can learn that the pursuit of fame is a hollow, empty pursuit that will only leave us feeling unfulfilled and dissatisfied. Take a moment to reflect on your own pursuits. Are you chasing fame and recognition? Or are you chasing true enlightenment? Are you seeking external validation? 
or are you cultivating inner peace and humility? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about personal growth, be sure to check out my other video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.